you ever get that feeling it's going to be a long night. It doesn't start well. Low fuel in the Argo means a trip to the nearest petrol station. Then Mark starts talking about fashion and fabric conditioner. It's Billabong or something like that. Right, it's the height of fashion. Really? In well, where? You've got that lovely Lenore fresh smell and then they just get covered in Shit. something disgusting and stinks. It's so cold tonight that it's all about layers. A promising night's foxing can quickly be ruined without proper thought and consideration for one's attire. But it's amazing what a fox in your sights can do to shut out the cold. One down. Perfect shot. Look at that. Perfect. That's that dog. I knew there was, well, I didn't know, I thought there'd be a dog here. There we go. One down. We're pretty exposed out here on the marshlands. With no night vision or urban light pollution, we could be on the moon. Happily, this moon has foxes. Roy gets on to another. Right, two foxes. Mark marks it using the latest version of his app. Every fox and rabbit we pick tonight will get logged. The date and location will not only be added to the database, but the info will also be automatically sent to the farmer. It's a shame it doesn't record size as well, as it's a big dog fox. Another dog. Well, I'm not surprised at that size. It is huge, isn't it? The farmer complained about we could hear them the other night. And I managed to miss one the other day in a spot. Oh, 800 yards from here, which is where we're going to go next. So I think we might, you know, stand a chance of getting another three or four. So onwards and upwards. Our next call produces a great response. A vixen comes charging in. She's too close for the rifle, and yet her change of position keeps her in the game. Roy is chuffed, and Mark is genuinely impressed. That vixen just would not stop. She just came steaming straight in, even shouted at her to try and stop her, but she wasn't having any of it. Um, and, and literally just passed in front of the, uh, the Argo about 15 yards off. So uh, yeah, if we had a shotgun, we could have uh, easily dealt with her as she ran past us. But luckily she ran past and just over the brow. We pulled the Argo back round and came just over the brow and caught sight of her again and just gave her a little bit of a squeak. And where she was so curious and obviously very hungry. Yeah, she uh, she gave us a second opportunity. But, uh, yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Especially with the white light. I mean, I, I love going out with the the night vision, um, and it's nice going out with the red filter. But when you've got foxes that are, are not lamp shy whatsoever, and they're coming in, when you've got the white light out, you just can't beat it because you just see so much more. <laughs> I was, I I because as soon as you put it in your mouth, I thought, oh, it's sort of, uh, you know. Well, I mean, you get more toys than me, so you know, I, 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 I'm not, I don't want to come across all jealous, but I thought, another gimmick. Um, but no, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Midnight comes and goes. It takes a while before our next fox, but it's another nice one. And now it's surely time to call it a night. Should we see if there's any more on the way back? Oh, yeah, we're not letting David go to bed. No, that's it. I mean, he is bleating on, though, isn't he? Oh, it's, it's, it's childish. I know. I want to go home. You're in it's the wrong late. job. You're in the wrong job. <laughs> I want to work in an office. <laughs> at ITV, we clocked off at five o'clock. <laughs> I need a tea break. My bottom hurt. <laughs> Can I have a sandwich? <laughs> Come on, David. David has asked for it to be known that Gilchrist finally dragged himself out of his pit the following day at 11 a.m when Roy phoned him. Roy was crying inside the whole time, and they had a proper seat with legroom. Right, on with the film. And, well, that's where it pretty much ends. Four foxes on the deck with some cracking shooting from Roy. Gilchrist taking out a few extra bunnies with his night vision when the opportunity presents itself. Good night, really. There's, um, there's a few more we're going to have to come back and get another time that just wouldn't play the game. Um, I think we need to get a rest and... There's a couple of chaps there, you just need to go up and bang. No, there's definitely a few more foxes out there to go and play with, isn't there? So, as I say, I mean, there's one or two there that are a bit lamp shy, but we'll, uh, we'll get the night vision set up for those and hopefully account for those without too much bother. And I'm absolutely bloody frozen. Let's get home.